Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Plut Cam. Um, in this video, I'm gonna be changing uh, the oil in my 2007 Scion, finally, dude. It's been taking me so long to do it because it's been raining, but I finally had a date to do it, and yeah, let's get into it. Yeah, I'll show you guys the mileage for once. 151,000 miles, 401. So, once it heats up a little bit more, I'll take it out. Okay guys, it took me a while, but I finally lifted it safely, the jack, uh, another jack just to get it above normal lift, a wheel for safety. We're gonna let this just uh, drip for a little bit, and then we're gonna take off this oil filter afterwards. What's confusing me is why it says 040, I mean, if my eyes are correct, because I thought this car takes 020, but anyways. So this is the old uh, drain plug. Honestly, it looks fine. Like it doesn't look that like stripped or... And then put the oil filter back on and then get rid of this oil somehow. And then put this, um, the cover for the belt back on because I, I I took it off just to get the... I have to put a freaking screwdriver through the freaking oil filter. Let me show you, hold on. <laughs> look at that. Literally holes in the oil filter. You could not take it off, so I just put a screwdriver through it. It actually worked. Hopefully I didn't scratch anything on the other side once I put the screwdriver in, but I'm gonna torque the bolts, get the oil filter, put a little bit of oil in it, around the edge, put it back on without dripping any, then put the oil back in. Okay guys, so here's my oil filter, oil, some of the oil that I'm gonna put into the filter before I put it on. So from what people say, I'm supposed to put at least a little bit of oil in here and then around the edges here for the uh, for the seal and then just make sure the old seal didn't stick on the on the wall from last time so oh wait is that a washer oh i think is that a is that a drain plug washer huh it's metal it could be i'm just gonna save it all right that should be enough And you make sure it's all around the edges here. Just make sure that's a good seal. Okay, let's put it back on. Seems like a good fit right there. It's gonna go with hand tight. Uh. Uh. Okay. So you guys can see I'm putting the the shield that was covering the belt back on. It was only two bolts that I thought I had to take off the whole thing, but it was just two bolts that I can just take off and then take it out of the way so I can get to the oil filter that I already put on. That's the Toyota oil filter. Refilled it, put the oil cut back on. Everything should be tightened up. Supposedly, and once the refill is, is done, it's only after four quarts. So I have an extra fifth right here just in case. And like I said, honestly, I don't know if this, if, if this is supposed to be the washer for the drain plug, but the one I bought came with one, so I'm just gonna save this. Okay guys, I finally changed the oil. I think I did it successfully too. Because I don't see it leaking or nothing. Here, I'm gonna hold this in my head. Yeah, I don't see it leaking or nothing. Let's double check. Just in case. Yeah. Clean as a whistle, no drops, nothing. That's good. I won't be driving it hard right now since I don't know what the level is at exactly, but put four quarts in it after the oil change. So dirty. Wait a minute. What the heck? Is that normal? For water to come out of the exhaust. Okay, guys. Finally changed the oil. Everything seems fine so far. No check engine codes or anything like that. Um, I brought the oil so I can um, leave it over here. Over here at O'Reilly's. Yeah. Let me show you guys the outside just real quick. I was getting worried that there was some like water coming out from the exhaust but should be fine right, let me guys uh let me give you guys a good listen that's what it sounds like i don't know if that's a custom exhaust or not but or if it's a stock one i can't tell honestly but dropping off that oil and then going to my grandma's to home depot probably okay guys just finished changing the oil 
And now I broke my fast. It's 6 p.m. I haven't eaten all day on my queens. Okay, guys. So as you guys saw in the earlier in the video, I changed my oil in the Scion and the 2007 Scion, and um, I went to Home Depot with my grandma. And um, yeah, so now I'm just um, I'm gonna go back home and just relax. But before I do that, I'm gonna try to wash my cars and, and the Scion too. So right now I'm washing the uh, the 01 Camry. So here's the Camry. So it looks like this month's color is pink. So. Last month it was blue. I hope, honestly, I hope they kind of make it green one day just to switch it up. But it's always been pink and blue. Yeah. Hey guys, so I'm done changing the oil in the car. Um, honestly, it took a lot longer than I expected. And yes, it is a different day. Uh, it's at night, but it's a different day because honestly, that day that I changed the oil, I didn't film a good like ending. So I just wanted to say uh, thanks for watching. Um, if anything, if you could please like and subscribe, it'll definitely help me out. I'll be making videos soon, more about the Scion. So we'll see. Until next time, guys.